it's become much easier to join a loop workspace. We now have workspace links and I'm going to show you a couple of creative ways to use them to connect people from a team to a workspace. So we've got a workspace uh, already created and the idea is I'm going to try and connect this so that people who are members of a team can easily join the workspace. The workspace is called Project Radio. There are three members and we now have a new option to generate a workspace link. And this link, when someone clicks it from our organization, they will be requesting to join the workspace. I'll copy that link. And for the first time, what it does is it generates the link. And I'm going to use it in the team um, over here. This is the Project Radio team. And I'm going to create a tab. This is the first method I'm going to use. Uh, now, the tab I'm going to choose is a website tab. Um, and we'll say that this is the uh, loop workspace. And paste the URL in there. Okay, I might just leave that box tick to say post about it in the channel. Now, as a tab, the initial tab um, at the moment is going to be able to load up the loop workspace and when people click on it, it's going to start that invitation process. Once they've joined it, it's going to function like a uh, way of accessing the workspace. But I want to make this note, at the moment, the website tab in Teams allows you to load works, allows you to load websites, uh, but it is going to change. It is going to just eventually function as a shortcut. So we've got the, um, the link for this. Uh, let's go over now to um, the workspace, and this is where we're going to um, then try this out as Elizabeth. She is a new member of the team and she's going to click on that link and try it out. So let's go over and see Elizabeth. Um, we have, first of all, there is a post in the general channel for the um, Project Radio. Uh, there is a new tab at the top of the team and also a post about it. So if I launch that tab, All right, so this now starts off that request process. Your request to access the workspace has been sent. And so now I'll go back over to the uh, person who owns that workspace. And we'll click back into the members of the team. And you'll see now in the list of members, there's a pending member. That's Elizabeth requesting to be a member of the workspace, I'll accept it. Okay, and now Elizabeth is simply and easily a member of the workspace. Let's go back over and see what it looks like if she was to click that tab and visit it again. So now what happens is it's going to load up the workspace within that tab, and it is showing the uh, the first page within the workspace, so it does load up there in the in the tab quite nicely. If we just expand this so that it be, gives it a bit more room, we now see the the loop workspace within that tab in the team. And expanding it, we can also see the uh, the panel there to navigate around the other different pages. Now, as I said, this is only available at the moment. This is um, the end of May, beginning of June of 2024. But this will change because of some security changes around how Loop works, around how Chromium-based browsers work as well. So it will just function as a shortcut, but it will launch the Loop workspace uh, when you're using it as a tab. Now, the other place that I could use this um, in the team is creating a file, a type of file in the team called a shortcut. So using that same loop uh, workspace link, I can choose link here, join workspace, and create that. So that just becomes a simple shortcut which is uh, just a feature of Teams. But another way just to make it easy to find is to pin that to the top. 
and so that you can go into the files you can guide people through to say that this is how you can join the workspace and they can join it now that's far easier than having to type in a person's name and add in that member each time. As you onboard a new person to the team, just tell them uh, to join the workspace by clicking on either the tab at the top of the general channel or directing them to launch that uh, shortcut from the files. So a couple of quick ways to use the new workspace link for inviting people into a team, making it far easier for people to join your loop workspaces. It's not quite the connection that we want yet where a member of a team is immediately added to a member of the workspace, but let's see what comes in the future from the loop product group. We'll see you again soon. Bye for now.